Hello everyone and welcome back to another Just a Cheeky episode and today I am doing something very, very different, very new. It is a demo game that I am trying out today. I was having a look through the PlayStation. I have downloaded a couple of games to try out over the next couple of weeks on a Wednesday, Just a Cheeky, because imminently the DLC for Elden Ring will be out, so I didn't want to get into anything really really intense or open world right now i don't think it's quite the time so i figured why not go on the playstation um, network look on their store see what they've got see what free games they've got or demos or trials and i found two that looked very interesting to me the first one is the one that we're playing today called Inotria, and it is based in an italian style uh, area is italian sort of speaking and everything like like that it's a souls like game that's all i know about it i wanted to check it out it looks beautiful i like the style of it and obviously it's a souls like so why not try it next week stay tuned for the other game which is definitely not a souls like game it's not something that i would actually really choose to play myself but there is a song in the actual game that was released and is part of the game, which is an incredible song. I absolutely love the song. The graphics of this game is out of this world. It is terrifying. So I am slightly, slightly concerned and scared about playing the game, but it is at the moment a free trial. So if you're interested in said game, if you can guess what it is, then please, please go on the PlayStation Store and trial it for free at the moment. It came out at the end of last year. It is a thriller type game. The graphics in the game, I've never seen anything like it before. There is an original game as well, so this is the second one. Let me know if you can guess what it is by the end of this video. Let's get into it. Wow, and we're straight into it, so, okay. Lovely. Whoa. It's very quick on the camera. Okay. Right, good, lock on. Okay. All right. Nice, okay. Auto lock, which is always good. This is just a sort of tutorial area. What is going on here? Oh, nice, it's quite pretty. The camera, camera, the camera, movement is a little too sensitive for me right now okay so like a quick step nice oh okay interesting well time parry oops i mean obviously i tried to parry then and that didn't happen. Okay. L1. Okay. I would say it was fairly generous with that. <laughs> I will say that. Let's let's go try again. Yeah. So you can kind of hold the parry. It's not so much a like a shield parry that you know. Oh, unraveling. The masterless one can weaken the canovaccios. Italian, obviously. Grip on all manner of things. Fighting hostile beings causes them to build their unraveling meter. When filled, they will be temporarily exposed to a finishing strike. Like a special? Okay. Fighting. All right. Ooh. Okay. Awakened state. When the Master's One finishes off an unraveled enemy, they briefly enter the awakened state. While awakened, the maskless one gains a variety of positive effects that depend on the masks that they are currently wearing. Ooh, okay. Interchangeable masks. Ooh. Nice finisher. Lovely. And you're done. You're cooked. 
Where, where are we getting now? Okay, so we can move forward. Right. This is very pretty. I love the reflection of the water. One of my favourite things, that. Jump. We'll go with it. Yeah. Okay, so the, the controls are fairly similar to Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Run, is Circle, etc. So that's good. I do apologise for my nasalness, if you can hear it. I have summer allergies, unfortunately. It's always a thing. I love summer, but then I remember I have terrible sensitivity to allergies. Finish. Nice. The movement almost reminds me of um, uh, Liza P a little bit. I like this sort of little animation where they go off. So I'm use Armonia Amber to restore health. Like that. That's cool. I don't know what sort of like uh, how far into the the game, as in like productivity or when it's releasing or if they're still designing music. Hopefully, that would be good. So you get a parry bar as well. So that's cool. I wanted to dodge that, but hey. Finish. Nice. So that's an automatic thing once the parry bar is up to full. I like that. Whoa. Okay. Music's pretty good. Quite like that. Nice. Real quick dodge. Like it. Not too bad, considering. Obviously, I think that's just a tutorial boss. Mask of Change. So we got a new mask. Nice. And a stage greatsword. And a veiled greatsword. Wow. We're getting all sorts of goodies. The master one has up to three loadouts at their disposal, in which all of the kinds of equipment can be set while at resting spot. While exploring, is that the dog? Yeah. I wondered what that noise was then. Only weapons, gems, and consumers rules can be changed. Changing the active loadout can be done at any moment, right? Double pressing the swap input allows you to quickly select the loadout that is currently farthest in the pick order. Okay. A door burst. I don't know what that is. So, uh, here we go. Swap equipment, swap equipped. Weapon, change mask, loadout, and loadout menu. Loadouts, here we go. Hello. Say hello to everybody. Hello. You are just here for one thing. Obviously, this is becoming a theme, I feel. What about a big biscuit? Because he was a very good boy today on his walk. There you go. Have a treat, buddy. Right. Weapons of hands, mask lines, tools, mask, aspect, and mask perks. Okay, there. So we've got the stage, stage longsword and stage greatsword, and then we've got unpolished gem, an ancient and raw gem with unexpressed power, minimally absorbs all kinds of damage. Hmm. I quite like that. Okay, so oh, this is where we can use different weapons and swap them out but it looks like i might not be able to wield that because it's got a requirements yeah it's got a little marker on it a, a explanation mark which would suggest to me that i can't wield it properly. An ancient sword surrounded by many stories regarding its origins. The most reliable claims that it fell from the sky. It was first found in the dead centre of a large crater where the most powerful city of the continent once proudly stood. Okay, so we can't wield it currently, but 
that's cool. And then we had, I thought that we picked up a mask. No? Oh yes, we did. So we got this, perk slots. Oh my goodness. Allows you to deal more weapon damage through heavy attacks. In addition, your physical power is increased increased while awakened become the curtain call the drama i don't think i have any gems oh sorry i didn't want to do that yet i wanted to see what this gives you nothing okay so can i sorry new game and all can i use that then no oh <gasps> what? So it changes your whole attire. Okay, so this is heavy attack. So then I want to... What have we got? We've got the long sword and the great sword. So probably the great sword, correct? Because heavy attacks are better for this, for power. My mask that I've chosen to wear. I love the outfit. That's really cool. And then we've got our health which we have three um, flasks for. All right, can we dual wield or is that not a thing? Uh, oops. No, we just dual wield when we're heavy attacking, okay. I need to remember that because otherwise I'm just gonna be drinking my health all the time. <laughs> I, it looks pretty cool. I quite like it. It's very smooth, the gameplay. The responsiveness. Look at that. I mean, it does look good. I quite like the theme. It, it does remind me of Liza Peas in that sense, the theatrics. And I mean, we're wearing like a jester's outfit and a Robin Hood cap. Not as gothic as Liza Peas, but you know, this is interesting. Puppet strings. Can I try and. No, I can't cut them still interesting all right i don't know if we can swim probably not so is this the way that we just came from it makes me think yes have we just come round definitely because i looked over here didn't i wait a minute have i been turned about Possibly. How strange. So there is a stamina bar, that's cool. Yeah, this looks new. All right, that's my bad. <laughs> Already getting lost, cool. Um, I'm not sure. Creepy. Okay. All right. Hold L2 and press R1 to uh, R door burst. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. In front of it. That would help. How many of them have we got? Oh, oh, oh. Don't, I don't want to go up yet. Loot. Juniper sword. Wow, we're already getting all the equipment locked. Unlock. How the frick do you get out then? How is it locked or is it still going up? Push. Yeah. All right. Freaking out then. Lost my ride. So, if we go into here, I just want to have a look at what that other sword was. Juniper sword, long sword. So we could swap it out. I wonder if you can um, sort of compare it to the long sword. So 105, a door damage, unraveling. 52. Possibly better. Let's try that then. Let's put that there. Yeah, I need to use that one, don't I? Yeah. Great sword for the time being. I want to check it out. Okay. 
Use consumable. Okay. Oops, I didn't want to do that. I've got to get used to these. Uh, different menu things. Sometimes I think it's better to go into this menu. Ammonia sap. Raw sap that allows you to recover some health upon damaging an enemy for a brief duration. Gathered from the roots of the tree of the chain of change that now are now spread throughout the continent. Okay, so it's like a slow hill. Cool. Ooh. Cobblestone, invigorating mine stone. Getting all of the loot. Looks like a chest here. Dualist virtue. Invigorating minds. Min minestrone. It's a frickin' soup. <laughs> oh, my days. Well, I mean, it's amongst cobblestones and some sort of sap, so, you know, it wasn't the first thing, thing that came to my mind that, what, that it was a minestrone soup. <laughs> mask lines are powerful adore abilities. In order to use them, the mask's one needs to land attacks on enemies, which gradually charges them up. So, like that parry button, I guess. Uh, okay, so, oh, is that... These two, a door burst, and then we've got the two different, uh, what does it say that they were called? Mask things here. Virtue. And drunken sword. Summon an ardor sword imbued with the power of viz and perform a powerful heavy attack. Charging speed presto. We shall sing till morning comes or till our mugs are empty, whichever comes first. Effect. Duelist virtue. Step backward, then immediately follow up with an attack using the other equipped item, uh, weapon, sorry, or the same weapon if only one is equipped. We can equip... Oh, I see. And sorry, I was thinking of dual dual wielding. The most skilled duelist master more than one fighting style to maintain the advantage in the widest possible array of situations. Both of them sound quite cool. Interesting. Enemies. Always tough. Okay. I didn't really want to get both of you there, but that's fine. Oh, damn it. L2 impress. Oh, I see. Woo! It's already charged, baby. That's cool. I guess. Oh. That's annoying. He um, kicked me out of it. I guess this is just practice showing how to do it. Ugh, I'm not getting these parries now. I am pressing parry, for God's sake. Yeah, so, oh, I see, they had their individual lines that they're doing around their actual icons. Okay, I like it, I like it a lot. The primal elements. In the world of Notria, there are total a total of four primal elements. Viz inflicts dizzy, which increases damage dealt as well as stamina regeneration at the cost of a lowered defense. Fatuo inflicts wicked, increasing one's own elemental power. However, suffer damage causes the attackers to heal themselves. Milano inflicts sickness, causing one to suffer damage over time and to spread its effects to nearby entities. That's interesting. And Gracia inflicts radiant, causing one to recover health over time. However, being damaged while inflicted, afflicted triggers a powerful explosion. However, being damaged while afflicted triggers a powerful explosion. So, Gracia sounds very interesting, Milano sounds very interesting, and Viz sounds very interesting. So, three out of the four. <laughs> okay. Is that in general? Like, can I pick them up? Or will other enemies use that on me? Ooh. 
Oh, shit. Something's happening to me here then. Is that one of, I guess that's one of the, um, what did it call it? Effects. Right, we've got another mask. Uh, how do I find it? I'm sure that was another. Hmm. Inventory? Yeah, it's there. How do you... Unless I've done it too quick. Stage mace. Holy mother. Stage ultra great sword. What? We are picking up a lot of goodies. Yeah, so that status effects is staying with me. Can I not change? Can I not change that then? Uh, right, so we have uh, Stage Mace, Morning Star, nice, and Stage Ultra Great Sword, which we can wield still. An ancient theatrical prop now consumed by woodworms. Rotted wood is certainly not ideal for sustaining a fight. Oh. I mean, I'm almost tempted to try and use it, but still. An ancient theatrical prop now consumed by woodworm. Again, all right. But how do I freaking? Sorry, I'm doing all of this because I'm just trying to figure my life out. I don't know, that's strange to me. An author's thoughts, nice. Ah, they look lovely. Lovely. It's so way out there, and then what was this? Untangle knot. Corda reson resonante. Resonante. Oh, it's like a vampire. It's my place of rest. Restoration. Aha. Loadouts? Yes. Well, we want to try and figure out the loadouts, but... Ah. Oh, can I only change... Oh, no, I can change it now. I think it's because I'm at the place of restoration. Right, so what is this one, then? Increase the damage dealt by range mask lines. Additionally, while you're awakened, dealing a finishing blow to an enemy charges up all ranged mask lines. Today is a glorious day. Cool, okay. Um, and did I want to change... Did I want to change this and try these? I know it says they're wood rotted, but why not? Can I level up? I got 1300, so hopefully. Okay, so that is attack power, defense and health. Cunning, stamina, attack power, and defense. Uh, attunement. I don't think we do anything with attunement yet. So, stamina and defense, erudition, a door power, that might be quite good. And then. So, we have two level ups, right? Maybe I'll do erudition. Okay, confirm. Nice. I like it. Okay. And we can fast travel. Cool. Path of Innovators. Inspiration gained by finding new entries of the compendium can be spent in the Path of Innovators to unlock powerful perks that can be slotted in any mask. So that's the perk slots that we were looking at. <gasps> Suffering melee damage causes the attacker to sustain physical damage in return. When your health is above a certain threshold, your physical damage defense, sorry, inc is increased. Mask lines char charge up slower, but deal more damage. I'm sorry, I can't talk today. Mask lines charge up faster, but deal less damage. Upon casting the mask line equipped in slot three, your weapon is briefly infused with Fatuo. That's cool. 
A podcasting master, it's Viz, okay. Uh, Gracia and Milano. So that's the four different um, perks, or not perks, the effects. I don't want to touch them just yet, I don't think. Your status, power, and damage dealt by finishing attacks are increased. And upon dealing damage, your stamina regeneration is briefly increased. Oh, I think I want that. How many have you got? 11. Cool. Ooh. Killing an enemy slightly charges up all your mask lines. Nice. Dodging an attack causes the attack attacker to be slightly unraveled. That's pretty cool. Your, when your health is above a certain, your physical defense is increased. Suffering melee, don't cause the attack. I quite like that one. Nice. And then perfect parrying. An attack heals you by a portion of your maximum health. This effect is improved when you're on low health. Hmm. And this one, I think, would be quite good. Okay. So then what we want to do... Oh, we want to go into loadouts. Sorry. And we want to put in the perks to the masks. I think this is still probably the best mask so far. So if I go across and then... Ah, okay. Um, aspects of erudition, aspects of... Oh, th these are the level up aspects. Okay, so it gives me... Uh, erudition might be quite good or fortitude could be good. Let's try... Let's do fortitude. And then we have these, which is what we've just unlocked our perks. That one... I, mean, I, th I don't know if I can change these out or swap them around. I think all masks accept all of the perks, but I can't remember. I'm not sure if you can just take them off a mask and then put them on another mask that you're wearing. I'm not too sure. So from early courses, the attack is the same to me. Let's try that. And then I just want to have a look at this one, say. I still think the fortitude is a pretty good idea. Yeah, so these are assigned to the others, but it looks like I can remove them and put them in here. So that is good. At the moment, we're going to be using this. So I'm going to put all three on there. Oh, yeah, you can remove them. Fantastic. That's really good because then it's not locked in. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. All right, I feel good. I feel good. Let's go. So hopefully you're enjoying this. I think it's pretty cool so far. It looks great. It's very simple uh, enough to understand and for people to use, especially people that are not used to Souls-like games and just want to have a try. It looks fab. It sounds amazing. Look at that. So far, I've, I've felt it fairly straightforward, you know. Encourages the parrying. I would say it's not strict on that. It doesn't have a closed like a short window for parrying. Even I can sort of pull it off, which is saying something. Right. Okay. There are enemies, fine. Oh, damn it. He's got torch, I don't particularly like that. Nice. Wah. Oh, oh, oh. And then the finisher. I like it. Ooh, loot. Warrior's brew, gardener's mask shard. Mm. Okay, so it looks like everyone is our enemy. No NPCs yet. But it doesn't necessarily mean there aren't any. As I said, I have no idea about this game. But I'm liking it so far. Inebriating seasoning. Ephestet fragment. Interesting. Okay. I would like to get to another uh, a boss. I don't know how big the demo is. I'll have to see when this is actually out as well. And if you guys are interested in watching a full playthrough, please let me know. Give us a comment, like the video if you're enjoying the content. Whoa! Oh, he's got an effect on him. His uh, weapon, that's cool. It's imbued with something. 
Yeah, and the parry works, which is good. Although I haven't done the finish on him, which is annoying. He is unraveled. Oh, my stamina is not great. The one sharp retort. What are you firing at me, dude? Yeah, let me know if you're interested in this. It's just dying slowly. I'm, I, I'm actually quite excited by it. Uh, from what I saw on the PS5 when I was downloading it, the reviews were like 3.7 out of 5. I don't know whether people are just thinking it's a bit too simple or what. I, I might need to read those reviews and see why, or whether those people have played a bit more than me and aren't that impressed. I don't know. Oh, he just killed me. Okay, so we're back here. That's cool. He was a big boy. And let me know if you like this type of thing, me trying out some games that are coming up. These style games, I'm trying to keep to really what I tend to play on the channel, but I'm always very open to trying all games. And it gives you guys, you know, a sense of what is coming or what is out there other than the norm that we know of, you know, Elden Ring DLC, which is on everyone's mind at the moment, and rightly so. Interesting noises coming from somewhere. But yeah, I'm liking this so far. I will say that. You just move my fringe out of my face so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this dude is a bit of a concern. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Okay, but we're going with it, I guess. <laughs> oh, recollect. Okay, cool. I don't know why I was just stood there. This takes a huge amount of wind up. Did you see that? That was literally a light attack. So maybe that is why, uh, I mean, they're rotten wooden swords. I don't know why I thought that it would be an idea to use them, but you've got to test these things. So I'm just going to change that loadout. That is going to have to be that. Okay, and I accidentally changed, although it's super cool, isn't it? I accidentally changed my mask. So I'm gonna go back to here. I wanna make sure that I've got the right... Oh, Juniper Sword, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the... That one. Yeah, need the great sword. Okay, right, we're cooking. Let's go again. This is the wrong way. <laughs> That's the wrong way. It's because I'm distracted, sorry. This is the right way and the only way to go. Yeah, that um, great sword, very cool, but whole my days, the wind up was mad. Not good enough. Not for this guy who seems to have all the stamina in the world. I like the imbuement of the weapons though. That's really cool. I hope that's something that we can do. I know we can do it on the masks. Very cool. I like it a lot. Backstab. I know technically it doesn't look like that we need to get this guy, but I kind of want to. 
I need to make sure I only hit him once. He is not bothered by the parry. Cool. I want to get him though. I do want to get him. Yeah, let's try. It might be a bit quicker, that's all. Hello, Harry. Oh, my days. Oh my god. Don't know what's going on with that. Thank you. Not too good, eh? Not too good. Oh, oh what's this along here? Ooh. Miracle pesto. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing here. All right. Do you know what it is? I'm pressing down because I'm seeing the items. I think it's a cross. So how do I... How do you select them though? Oh, is that what that was? Okay. I can't even remember what I pressed. Hey ho. <laughs> this dude is tough. Trying to get out quicker and only hit him once, but it's not working. Well, it's definitely souls. <laughs> it's a definitely a souls, eh? I think the other weapon is probably better. I don't know. Maybe we come back to him later. I'm not doing enough damage to him. Um, let alone taking the damage hits he has. Whoa, he's beefy. So we'll go back to him. Maybe I'll go and collect my souls. I think I picked up a like a soul as well, which is cool. Cool that you get them. Hopefully that means there's going to be like, I don't know, merchants maybe? Or you can upgrade weapons? I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be like a hub or, you know, other NPCs. I really have no idea. But so far, so good. Inebriating seasoning and gardener mass shard. Eight of them. Whatever they are. I feel like I want to get my freaking souls back. Plus the range on this is it. Slightly better. I don't think there was anything else I wanted to. Holy fudge, 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 fudge. Run away. We'll see how aggro they are as well, how much they're going to follow. So they're invigorating minestrone. I don't actually know what it does. I thought it was a health 
buff, but maybe not. Oh! Fresh, locally available produce. <laughs> Are you talking to me? That was uncalled for. I should have been able to hit you. Instead, you decided that you could hit me? No. He doesn't freaking stagger either. Christ. Yeah, I'm going to watch you die. Right, let's carry on a bit and see where we get to. It's very pretty. Shores of Quinta. Okay. Court of Resonante. Lovely. Resty testy. Not testy. Just ignore, I just said that. <laughs> Awkward. Level up, maybe 1600. So let's say that. Defense, stamina. Let's go, let's go that way. Cool. Um, no, but I want to see what is in my inventory. We picked up a load of things. Song of return upon those who lose all accumulated memory uh, to return to the last... Okay. Effects of Dizzy and its build-up. Right. A battle tonic increases physical defense over a short duration and quite simply a piece of rock. Can we trust its enemies to deal minor damage and draw their attention? Of course. Okay. Then we've got swords offhand. Yup, yup. Here we are. Mask fragments that once belonged to the role of gardener can be used to recreate it if enough are gathered. Oh. Ephistit fragment uh, used to upgrade weapons to a certain point. There must be a blacksmith then. Correct. Somewhen. I see. I see. Oh, dodging. Old fork. Lovely. Nice. Okay. I'd be excited to see what the sort of hub area is. If there is one, I'm hoping there would be. Golden dart. Mm. So a new perk. I like it. Are you coming for me? Maybe I can't parry those moves because it's not allowing. I also have, oh, I have five heals now. Locked on to someone else, not great. Well, it kind of worked for me, actually, to be fair. Nice. What's this? Oh. It was distracting me, but it's my um, little bonfire string, puppet string thing. You sir can die. Flask of Viz. Oh, is that a throwable then? Because I think he was doing that to me, wasn't he? Throwable effects. Nice. Anything here? Mm, enemies. Okay. Oh. like it. 
Whoa. Look at that. Okay. A little bit. <laughs> Not having any of that. Oh, did you see that effect? Cool. It didn't hit him, but still. We're checking this stuff out. Him or bigger? Right, let's go back. Do I need to rest? I don't think so. It'll probably respawn, I'd imagine, if it's a Souls-like game, or the enemies will respawn again. Let's just check what this is. Ominous. Shame it doesn't seem to be a backstab, but that could just be me. Reality glyphs. By using a door burst on a certain glyph on certain glyphs on the ground. On certain glyphs on the ground, the masterless one can alter the immediate surroundings for a limited duration, after which everything reverts to its original place. I don't know, like a flashback? Man? Oh. Oh. To get up here and then... No. Um, okay, so how long are we having this for? Okay. I can't grab onto. Oh, I see. is it just to go across? Maybe I should have looked first. Uh, maybe. Oh, let's just get this. Can I get this chest? Can't climb onto stuff. No. Okay. I'll go around here first, then. Shall I? How are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no? That seems odd to me. Okay, so it's quite a while that we have this. It looks like there's another one here. It was just me. <laughs> it was just me. I like it. I like that little puzzle. Very cool. Coastal harpoon. Nice. Let's go over there again. That's a nice mechanic. I'm a fan. I did this wrong bloody thing again. That's going to take me a while to sort out. You know? It's going to take me a while to figure that, that bit out. Um, the items. It's square, I think. What I do want to do is just look here. Can I put more in then? One minute, one minute. Let me rest and do it that way. Loadout, so... Aha, good. Golden dart summons an ethereal crossbow made of a door and shoots a single bolt in a straight trajectory. Chucking speed, vivacious. Vivaci? Vivaci? It's Italian, so... I do apologise if I've just butchered that language. You know, I didn't intend to. Uh, for a spear from the lands of Falasia Magna and toss it in a straight trajectory. Allegro, a fisherman's vigour and precision are as effective in battle as they are while fishing. Lovely. Uh, what I will say is doing the um, these perks, these, these jewels and effects, so much uh, a little slow so I need to uh, I need to sort of have forethought of doing them but that's to me very much a souls thing right 
So I'm gonna change back to my original mask. There we go. And remember that it's square. <laughs> square for the items that we've got. And we'll just go back here. I think I can just dodge these doodars. Oh, God. Nice. Okay. There we go. Aggressive works. <laughs> Lutum, litumanium something. Didn't have time to read it, apparently. He's, he's a big boy, just realised. Gonna have to chip away at him. Jesus Christ, he has such bloody range. And can clearly track me so easily as to where I must be going. on your health. It goes to like three shots, two shots. A massive shot there. Holy crap. I'm gonna use all my bloody health just for him. Three? Yeah. One, two, get out. Two. Get out. Three. One, two, three, four. Nice. Woo. Used literally every single hellfire I had, but still. Kill one lumberjack. Inspiration acquired. Oh, an epistite fragment as well. And some more sap. Nice. Recollect. Oh, souls. Or whatever they're called here. Ooh. Okay. Feneral slash. So I thought I had equipped the. Oh, maybe I just read them and didn't actually equip them like a normal person would. So yeah, interesting. Is there no other way around here? No. Okay. So let's go back then. through here. Is there anything here? Hmm, interesting. Does it mean they just run away? All right, let's go up here then. All right, so there's two ways, cool. The lumberjacks are apps. Oh, you're a lumberjack. Christ, they're too much. I, I like. I don't have enough health or damage for them. What? Opening rift caused changes in the environment for as long as you remain within its boundaries. Isn't wonderful? What? Did that just happen? Wait a minute. My mind's blown a little bit here. Did they just jump off the cliff? Inspiration acquired, the debtor. Ooh, well that's a little hint of what's next to come. So you can go around the other way. I feel like I want to do that, but as this is just a demo, I want to go over there. <gasps> and not die, God. Right, shall we interact? Right, let's go. Let's get cracking. I'm not sure how long this lasts. You know, we're slow and steady. <laughs> wow, I really hope that this is some sort of hub. 
some sort of home with NPCs, that would be absolutely wonderful, but I just don't know. Huh. Okay. Quinta, lower Welcome comments. Welcome to Quinta, the city of actors, or what's left of it. What this is, oh my days, it's absolutely brilliant. Everything I could ask for, hopefully, I think, I'm pretty certain it's what I just asked for. Equipment upgrade. Ooh, gear upgrades. Masks as well as mask lines and weapons can be strengthened through smithing. This action requires memoria, memoria and specific materials that can be found throughout the world, such as the sort of stones uh, that we've found. I can't remember what they called them. Um, do I want to right now? No. Maybe this, insufficient materials. What do we need? A broken Maolica, Maolica and Memoria. We need 3,000, wow. Oh, I had, I had to quit these, but, hmm, interesting. So, fragments, sorry, fragments. We could do uh, this once. Let's try that, so it's plus two. Plus one now, sorry. Okay. Nice. Is that what I'm wielding? I think it is, isn't it? That one. Um, okay, so... I wanted to... Oh, I guess I need to rest, right, to do that. That's what I want. Can I not equip that? I guess I can just equip it like that. So if I go here, then I can probably, hopefully, equip those effects as well. Let's see. Yeah. So funeral slash summon an adore pole arm imbued with the power of Fatua and perform a powerful heavy attack. Yes. And then, what do we want? Golden dart or coastal harpoon? I think that sounded quite good, didn't it? Cool. We have that. I don't think we have enough for leveling up, for sure. I know we picked up some, like, souls. But memories, sorry. Memories, not souls. I mean, it is a souls-like game, I guess. Okay, so open. Cannot be open from here. Wow, what a shock. Love that. Should we talk to this gentleman? Ah, I can all Paul Sinner. Paul Sinella. inside that expressionless noggin of yours. Nah. Who, what, where, when, why? Hush, hush, my promising prodigy. <laughs> Head for the castle, atop the hill, and all will be. Ooh, okay. So we're going to do this. We're going to do that see where we go from there. Changing city. You can lock onto them, that's a bit worrying. Sips of the past. <gasps> what? Why are you fighting me? I'm a little bit shocked there. They were just playing music, weren't they? Oh, paleo trophy. Okay. Am I kind of not welcome? I'm not really sure. Interesting. Falling star. Oh, we're getting quite a few effects now. <laughs> they must be having some sort of festival. They're all a little drunk. Hey! Wow, they're aggro and drunk. Interesting. Whoever's shooting at me can do one. Thank you very much.
Huh. I do like that. That is very good. Oh. Slice and dash. Oh, I told him. Shit. I need to stop being so aggressive. Interesting that you have friends and foe all in the same place. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> and a drunk guy. Nice. Can't hate on that. I'm just going to let you be you. No, I want to go up here. I just hear him in the background, like hiccuping. Why? Why? Of course you can't open it. Why would you? Right, we went up here, didn't we? I'm like getting well into this game. It's very, very cool. Go on the roofs. Although not much, not much about, but still cool. Couldn't see anything there. Let's go up here again. We went down. All right, cool. Happy with that. Is he a friend? Nope. Wow. Hey! I can't believe I wasn't locked onto him. Ridiculous. Yeah. I saw that coming. That's very interesting. That's very interesting to me that a uh, friend and lots of foes and smithing but it may just be the areas where you can rest where it's actually not this is clearly not a hub or a home or you know like a, a, a place to go back to that's safe but this particular area where i can rest and level up and we've got a friend npc and the smithing area where we can upgrade before we move on that's clearly the visual that i'm getting which is cool i want to go get my souls and the drunken boy which I like a lot. And they're like dancing. That was not me, sir. <sighs> Some of these effects are pretty damn cool. I literally fucking parried you, mate. Wow. He was annoyed, I would say. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Let's just rest and reset. Okay. We're going to make it to the top. I want to make it to the top and see what's going on. I know I said I was going to do a second game, but it may be that we split it because this game has been so good. I didn't expect it to be that good, honestly. Um, so you may have to wait for another week for the other game that I wanted to trial. Hopefully you'll be interested in that. I certainly am. Well, to a, to a point. But, we'll see. I think if I add it... Oh my god. If we add it onto the end of this, it would be a very long video. I'm not sure about him. He is terrifying. Can I go through those doors? What do we think? Wait for him to go the other side and see if I can sneak past. The 
insatiable one will have you. Shit. Jesus, don't tell me I have to fucking fight this dude. Trying to dodge him, clearly not very well. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't want to do that. Ah, uh, there's not enough room for me to dodge, and I feel like that's what I can do because the parry didn't do shit. Damn it. <sighs> okay. Well, at least we got one pulled off. So I use all of these that I can. Oh shit. No, 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 go. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. No. Crushing laughter, Curtis Marshard and him of something. Are you gonna unlock this door now or not? Door is locked. Door stays locked. Door stays locked. Annoying. Okay. Oh, there's a chest there. How the frick do you get up there? Hmm. Okay. Am I missing something? Probably. That would be too simple. Oh, yes, I am missing something. A door. Does it make sense? Hear the blacksmith that wasn't happy with me. Interact. Combat rift. Certain areas are so enveloped in the Canovaccio that upon entering them, muscles will one will be temporarily unable to leave its confinement. In order to regain freedom, they must defeat all nearby enemies. Okay. I have no health, so this is probably a terrible idea. It's like a challenge. Oh, this is not good. Um, a soliloquy demands emotional depth. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. <laughs> Fuck me. I didn't go into this really thinking, did I? Wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it there. Uh, tell me what you think. Honestly, tell me what you think. I actually really enjoyed this game. I think 
I mean, you get more from the demo than I expected. I expected maybe a little bit of the intro and the tutorial, um, but it looks like maybe you'll get to the castle and that will be it. But I will say we are running out of time today to do that. However, I am more than happy to carry on with the demo if you want to see more. Give the video a like. Tell me what you think, honestly. I am very interested in the game. I will keep an eye on it. I will put a review, I think, up on the PlayStation, um, my honest review of the game. I like the style. I like the era that it's in. I like the look. I like the, the different ideas, the different skill sets. I like the little, um, this adore process where you can go to different areas on the on the map or on the world. I like the maskless different um, attires and different strengths and weaknesses and obviously there's the effects as well. I just think overall it seems pretty pretty well done and I'm excited to play it. But let me know if you would watch this, if it's something that you would be interested in watching me do, streaming or videos, or if you're interested in it in yourself, you've not seen this before and you quite like the look of it, or you didn't, let me know. Give me a comment. I always, always respond to them. Thank you so much. Take care. And also, next week, it will be Alan Wake time. If you're interested, go and have a look. Download it yourself. Tune in next week for that. Let me know what your thoughts are on Alan Wake 2. I not I've not played the first one, but I have watched it and it's terrifying. But the second one looks absolutely out of this world. So I'm quietly concerned and excited. As I said, till next time, ta-ta.